greetings from Whitewater State Park where it is currently below 10 degrees. I've just had a nice hot mountain house beef stew reconstituted freeze dried meal. And I'm hunkered down in my sleeping bag which is also inside an alpine bivy to help hold in some more heat. And I've got some hot water in my Nalgene here uh, down by my feet to keep those nice and warm. And tomorrow's going to be nice and sunny. And we've just had a few inches of snow in this area. In the Twin Cities we only got like an inch or a dusting, not very much at all. But this area from Rochester to Albert Lee to Mankato got three to four inches. So an appreciable amount of snow. And tomorrow's going to be clear and sunny. And I'm going to go out and take some photos with my, uh, with my Mamiya. Which is going to be a lot easier than setting up my Intrepid and trying to uh, f focus on the ground glass under the dark cloth with my fingers freezing off and uh, the ground glass fogging up. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be fun, uh, but uh, I've got my alarm set for 6.30, which is in only five hours, so I'm going to hit the sack. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is still really cold out, but the sun is shining, and I couldn't be happy about that. Now, I've already taken one shot. There's a horizontal composition with these clumps of grass that are frosted in the river here. And there's a bunch of really nice warm light reflecting off of those trees on the top of the block, giving me a really nice warm glow on the water. But I also wanted to take a vertical shot that's a little bit lower and I'll point it a little bit up so that you can actually see that glorious light up above on the block. And I've dropped in a three stop medium edge graduated filter. Uh, I'll take down the exposure on those trees and uh, really keep the emphasis on what's right in front of us right here, which is these clumps of glass that are frosted over and have a very, very interesting texture to them. Yeah, let's, let's take this photo. All right, so I was driving around on the roads in the park and uh, kind of by this, this group center here. There's a few uh, cedar trees that are standing up out of the, this field. And I'm kind of looking into the sun right now, although there's, some of the branches are kind of blocking the sun just a little bit. But uh, I've closed down the aperture all the way to f32, so I'll get a nice sun star looking into the sun and 
the uh, the snow on the ground is reflecting a good amount of that sunlight back onto the trunks of the, the trees. And my exposure is, well, I'm not exactly sure what my exposure is just because both my phone and my light meter are dead. I kind of made the mistake of leaving my light meter outside of my sleeping bag last night, so it's no good to me right now. But I'm gonna go with one eighth of a second. I figured that should be good. My previous exposures were one second at f32, and it's obviously brighter. I mean, the scene is obviously brighter. I figure three stops sounds about right. So half, fourth, one eighth. You know, and it's it's on Portra 400. It's color negative film, so. Even if it's way overexposed, it'll handle it, no problem. So yeah. Let's do this. As midday approached, the ideal morning conditions I had started with gave way to harsher light. That, coupled with my growling stomach, prompted me to pack up and head home. Before leaving, I did take advantage of the dramatic shadows to take a quick portrait of my faithful buggy. Having taken three photos I was happy with, it was officially a successful trip, and after packing everything up, I was hastily on my way to a hot coffee, a hot shower, and maybe even a much needed nap.